International flights are set to resume on the 29th of August. The process will commence from Lagos and Abuja, as announced by the Minister of Aviation, Hadi Sirika, who revealed all protocols in view of the COVID-19 pandemic will be revealed in due course. In the meantime, the Delta State Government has expressed happiness with the resumption of commercial flight operation at the Asaba International Airport after four months of closure. Ikena Meiji reports. Days after the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority approved the reopening of the Asaba International Airport for commercial operations, an airline, Aero Contractors, has landed with passengers as management ensured full compliance with all health protocols. For about four months now, the airport has been closed, and you know the effect on our economy. And we also appreciate the NCAA for also appreciating the good work the state has done in ensuring that uh, we meet up with the protocol well established by both the NCA and the um, NCDC. And so, to that extent, we call on Deltans and indeed all users of this airport to take advantage. Good enough, we'll have more, airport, more flights that will be coming into this airport. The management of the airport says it is ready to keep with all the protocols stipulated by the NCDC, assuring that its personnel were well equipped to deal with any fallout. You have to ensure that you apply sanitizer before you come into the main ticketing area and uh, you wash your hand through the automatic taps you have there. You must keep social and physical distancing. These things are compulsory. We just have to enforce them. There's no VIP here. And uh, we don't also allow anyone who is coming in with the retinue of uh, AIDS. So we have a regulatory body, Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority, that is monitoring the day-to-day -day operation of the airport. Anything that is contrary or contravenes the laid-down procedure and regulation will, of course, incur the wrath. So we don't want to be downgraded. Ikenna Amici, TVC News, Asaba.